This bus isn't just an ordinary bus. Hello. Hi. This is the Cata Ready Ride Service. And voters in the Meridian Township area will have the chance to vote on a millage for this service again in August. This is a, a renewal of the existing Ready Ride millage that's already in place. Uh, the difference is that it, because of the uh, override on the millage, it's at 0.19. The previous was uh, voted in at 0.2 mills, so this is a little bit of a reduction. And it's only going to be for five years. It's going to run 2020 through 2024, where the previous millage was a 10-year millage. The millage was first passed in 1999 and was last renewed in 2009. And although the next plan is only five years, there's a reason for the decrease. There's so much new technology and changes to the Ready Ride programs across the country and you look at these different programs, they thought that 10 years may lock them into uh, things that they wouldn't be able to go back and change. So they'd rather have flexibility, do it for five years, uh, bring in as much new technology as they can and see where they're at at the um, end of 2024. If you know you need to ride a bus 24 hours beforehand, instead of waiting in the heat at bus stops like this one, you can request CATA services like Ready Ride with just a simple phone call. The Ready Ride service has seen an increase of passengers over the years with a total of 19,852 riders. It's very popular, it's well used. Uh, with the uh, service agreement that we've already uh, negotiated with CATA, we were able to get uh, more buses uh, so we can have a higher capacity. That was one of the issues was the ridership capacity was limited at certain times during the day. So to increase that ridership, more buses have been added. We've also added at the, um, in the morning and the evening an extra time, so it's 7.30, Monday through Friday, 7.30 to 6.30, so those are new additions. Uh, they've also increased the uh, locations where the buses can go. Before they couldn't go outside the township, now they can go to the uh, Myers and Bath, they can go to uh, MSU Clinic, which are the most popular of the two new stops that they've added as part of all this new negotiation, getting ready for this millage. If the millage passes, the township would collect an estimated $360,440 revenue in the first year. One voter spoke out about why she will be voting in opposition to the millage. I'm voting no, absolutely. Um, for years now, the blind and disabled residents in our community, who I met when we were going through the BRT fight, I met them. They've been trying for years to change the wording on the millage to say transportation. Um, they had several meetings and groups and they met with people and apparently they wasted their time because they were promised that in 2020, Supervisor Stika said, well, we'll change the wording from CATA to transportation then. Well, he went back on his word or he forgot because transportation's in or not in there it says CATA again and um, he let them down so my vote is in support of these people. At the time of this story Home TV was unable to speak with someone on camera who was in support of this proposal. In Meridian Township, Michaela Temple, Home TV.